Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Um, I'm not going to make this video too long. I just want you to see what happened uh, in silver in the overnight market. This is a 60 minute chart of the July silver futures contract. You see this big red parabolic bar here where we dropped after hitting uh, a high of 48.59. We plummeted from 48.59 down to 42.20. All right. Again, we fell from 48.59 up here down to 42.20. Okay. So that's more than a $6 move, all right? Just free fall, flash crash, okay? If you are not a member of the Black Ops trading room, then you're missing out on this. For those of you who are long, holding long positions over the weekend, this is what happened. I warned everyone in the Black Ops trading room to take profit on Friday and get, and get out of the market. I also issued a updated spreadsheet that gave a uh, a crash warning, uh, a crash alert on the silver contract, alerting subscribers that the market was going to plummet on the next trading session. If you recall the last Vulcan report that I did here on YouTube, I showed you where the support and uh, uh, the various different support areas were. Uh, if we pull up the daily chart here you'll be able to see that so last week when I did the video we were trading up here okay we we're, were right here and I told you to watch the red line support level well you can see the market came down and tested that red line support level only to rally back up again now if this uh, trend channel continues we will see technical damage on the chart we have not seen that yet alright the swing VIX wants to come back up but is facing tremendous resistance in doing that our next support is not into the Kumo cloud down in here okay and you can see it's a narrow cloud which means that prices can easily crash right below that and get down here which would be um, another strong support area this is around that uh, uh, about 2645 we'll call it 2645 trend line support is right here though Okay, at 33.65, this is your trend line support, long-term trend line support on the daily chart. All right, so if we get, if we crash again, this is where we're going. All right, then we should find major support again at that 26 level. The market can still do this and come back up and still be bullish. However, we're in trouble if the market closes below the 33.65 level. All right, that would be major technical damage on the chart. In other words, we can pull back to 3365 and be fine and still and still maintain a bullish stance in the silver market. Right now, we are consolidated here as you can see. We are consolidated. Market is not trending. It's caught here, all right? So we're looking for direction now. We want to see if the silver can continue to break out or is it going to face more selling as it gets up to or the resistance zones. All right? So that's what we're going to be watching for. Now, I want you guys to know the truth. There's a lot of um, <coughs> excuse me, media coverage about what may have driven the, the, the prices to do this. Understand that the market was going to do this regardless. Okay, the Osama bin Laden story is an American fable. Our government likes to create fictional characters, and then just like a, a modern day soap opera when the actors contract us up they kill the character off of the show alright they get rid of the character now obviously the character does not die in real life it just means that their contract with that particular soap opera is up well that's what's happening with the Osama bin Laden story Osama bin Laden is not dead he is very much alive and under uh, protection of the US government because he is a US government employee he is not a terrorist he is not any of the things that they claim him to be he is on the payroll of the CIA and he was acting out a script just like he was told to do then they put him into hiding and safekeeping so Osama bin Laden was never really a real person he was a character 
our government creates characters just like with um, uh, what's his name um, uh, Saddam Hussein he was also a character okay what does this mean they take real people all right real actual human beings and then they have body doubles for those human beings and those are the actors all right they look like them uh, sometimes they can sound like them and they even put on weight and lose weight just like them these are professional body doubles and then they make it look like uh, look we've captured this individual he's standing trial he's being um, you know executed whatever the case may be it's not real it's all entertainment so that the government can push the next agenda they want to take your mind off of the real news the real things that are happening so again uh, Obama's birth certificate is fake okay we already knew we already know that we know that uh, uh, Saddam Hussein is not dead we know that Osama bin Laden is not dead their characters are dead they have no longer use to you for those characters to play the role of boogeyman now we get to move on and place another boogeyman all right and that's how that works like Gaddafi is the new boogeyman okay so they're using his character now to push forth whatever global agenda that they have next they create characters to push their agendas forward all right all this is fake it's a fable that they're feeding the American people and the American people unfortunately are still asleep they're comatose they're sheeple and they're buying this story it's all over the media no one is questioning the story no one is doing any investigative journalism in the mainstream media to the story they just report the story as fact whatever the government says is fact not only that but this is another proof that the government's test of the stupidity of the American the average American citizen is that now the government is able and the, using the mainstream media to actually get the American sheeple to agree with assassinating innocent people and they even report it as we the American government military NATO whatever you want to call it UN we have assassinated so-and-so we're trying to kill so-and-so we're gonna get him and then everyone says yay let's get him so they can they can do that to anybody they can vilify you or I and paint us as a terrorist or paint us as the boogeyman and the average person on the street if you walk by would spit in your face and call you a terrorist they would just blindly believe what was what they saw on television because again if the anchor on the five o'clock news says it's true it must be true right if the mainstream media is saying it's true it must be true and they're all saying the exact same the same thing in the exact same way some of the articles are even word for word reprints of the story so someone is feeding the media the story to report to you it's all a circus designed to take your attention away from the real issues and it's also designed to trigger certain emotional responses in the human brain so that you will begin to sympathize with the American government even though they're using this to terrorize its own citizens further okay and the next thing that's coming up now is going to be checkpoints so expect the next disaster or false flag to occur which will bring in checkpoints not just at bus stations and train stations and the airport but at the mall and especially on the interstates so expect to see a lot more checkpoints now you would think oh ding dong which is dead we can move on that's not true alright this is meant to bring forth the boot and the hammer to drop even harder on the citizens this is not good news okay moving on to the markets which this has to do with the markets you saw this parabolic move down in the silver only to see it recover this was manipulation this was done in an effort to shake out the smaller silver players okay that's why they raised the margins again I'm hearing all types of reports on how some firms are raising their margins for their uh, for their retail uh, traders 
even higher than the exchange margin requirement. Okay, unfortunately, they reserve the right to do that, and that's what they're doing. But as it stands, the average futures contract on the silver is like 17 grand a contract. As a matter of fact, let's let's be a little bit more specific. Let me see if I can pull it up here real quick for you to give you the actual number. And this is with uh, Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. Let's take a look here. All right, here it is. Here, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. All right. Maybe you can you can see this. Okay, you should be able to see this now. All right, you see this part right here, where it's showing. Uh, let's see where to go. Why don't we do this? Let's let's do this because I want you to be able to see it. So hold on. Bear with me just a second. We're gonna get this up so you can see it. Hold on. Okay, this was just done. It changed from last night to this morning. Okay. What you're seeing is not a misprint. It's not fake. It's for one silver futures contract. See the order I just put in here? Uh, this is just an example. I put in a, a buying a limit. All right, just one contract. You see here the buying power effect. This first number here that's with the brackets, that's the, that's the initial margin requirement to put on the contract. It's now thirty thousand thirty seven dollars and fifty cents for one silver futures contract. You can right now say on this very sad day of May the second, Monday, two thousand and eleven, the, the 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 small retail trader has died. This is the death of the small retail trader who wants to trade in the futures contract all right we've gone from virtually a five thousand dollar margin all the way up to a thirty thousand dollar margin before this latest switch uh on sunday between friday and sunday night when the market reopens the margin was like twelve thousand six hundred something then they moved it sunday night to seventeen thousand uh, like 300 now it's 30,000 for one silver futures contract which is absolutely ridiculous okay this is ridiculous this is this is insane it's unheard of this is what they're doing to get rid of the small uh, retail uh, speculator in the market so that only the elite can uh, corner the gold and silver market like I was trying to explain to you guys earlier all right this is real okay this is where we're at now okay finally in conclusion I want you to see the massive pimperation that is happening now the retail speculators uh, always had a the small accounts uh, we always had a um, an ability to move and shake by trading the mini contract the, the margin on the mini contract has always been like 2000 and change as of now, Monday, May the 2nd of uh, 2011, the new initial margin for a mini silver future contract, which only, is, which only moves in $10 a point, so a $1 move in the mini, future, in the mini silver futures contract is only $1,000, okay? Where the bit contract would be equivalent of $5,000 per dollar move. Now they want $6,000 now for one mini silver futures contract. This is absolutely absurd and ridiculous. All right, this affects everybody. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, try to be encouraged with all this. Remember, take what you can and give nothing back.